Welcome back. A French website. Didn't know they had them there, but good for you, <laughs> French people. It reports that President Obama and Nicolas Sarkozy were caught on an open mic. I didn't know they did comedy. At last week's G20 <laughs> summit, talking trash about Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Obama was asking the French president to help stop the Palestinians' effort to gain UN membership. When Sarkozy told Obama, quote, Netanyahu, I hardly met him. <laughs> Terrible joke. <laughs> Netanyahu, Netanyahu, I can't stand him. He's a, he's a liar and a lawyer. And a lawyer. <laughs> and Obama replied, you are sick of him, but I have to work with him every day. Tucker, the big question is, who cares? Anyway, no, the big question is, will this affect their relationship with Netanyahu? I don't. I mean, look, just remember back three years ago, this was the president who's going to raise the esteem of America in the eyes of the world, who is going to, you know, bring us back to our rightful place as the leader of, yeah. of the civilized world. And here he is again embarrassing the country. I got to be totally honest, though, I take a U.S. president's side over every other president. I mean, truly. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't, of course they can work together. Netanyahu's an adult. Yes, that, that is true. Perceptive, P.A.B. You've, um, you work here at Fox. Uh, has this ever happened to you? <laughs> uh, With no. A mic? W when when I, whenever I've trashed you, I made on. sure that my microphone was not on. Yeah. Um, this came up during the whole WikiLeaks thing where people said, look, these diplomats and these world leaders say a lot of things negative about the other world leaders that are yeah. supposed to be you know, kept behind closed doors, then they turn around and say, no, I'm with you. I, that guy's a jerk, too. And they yeah. go back and forth with it. And that diplomacy is ugly and that, you know, people say these things and that it's best for us to just not know about it. But I still think silence on the part of President Obama would have been better than chiming in and I, piling on. I don't know. If, uh, you know, but is that what everybody does when they, somebody says something? You kind of just play along. They do, but reporting it, it just, I don't know, it feels like, you know how everyone was giving Herman Cain crap for going on the Kimmel show? Obama should go on Gossip Girls because it has that <laughs> sense of, oh, you don't like him? I don't like him either. Ooh, Rah! did you see what tie he was wearing? Ooh. <laughs> He's the President of the United States. But you know what? I guess, I, I think maybe it was just, uh, like, that's a thing you do when you're being polite. I do that all the time with when people talk about Bill. Sometimes I'll just talk and say it to myself. Mm. Yeah, no, he does. And that's always on air. Yes, actually. it is. There's a lot of video. Caught on my Exclusively, in fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, was there a question? <laughs> you know, to, to follow up on what Tucker said in terms of, uh, <laughs> thanks, Bill. Uh, no, but in terms of our stature overseas, I mean, at this point, we have lower ratings. America has lower ratings in Egypt right now yeah. than when that evil George Bush was president. And that can only be Bill Schultz's fault. It is Bill Schultz's <laughs> fault. And on that note, we'll close things out with the post-game wrap-up from TV's Andy Levy. And to see clips of recent shows, foxnews.com slash red eye. That's where you go. There's Andy.